Hello, I'm Ken Beecroft, President of Glencoe District Historical Society. Welcome today to our facility here on McKellar Street in Glencoe. Uh, what we have here is a wonderful uh, facility which has been provided to us by Southwest Middlesex. We are in partnership with them and we work with them in order to preserve local documents and preserve the local history. Yeah, I'm uh, Harold Crothers, a uh, member of the Glencoe Historical Society. Anyway, um, we'll start off in this room here. This is the actual original uh, registry office for Glencoe in Southwest, or, or West Middlesex, I should say. Anyway, uh, it uh, was first built in 1871, This and this is the original shell of the building. Anyway, it contains all the registry records uh, up till uh, basically 1867. Now, the first book that you work with when you do research with these records is you have to use the abstract book, which is these ones sitting on the counter here. Now, from that, you determine what prop where the property is, and there's a number on here which indicates where the the property document number and from there you follow to the the uh, filing cabinets which are surrounding this room which will find you the original document of the property which was either sold or uh, there's also wills included within Yes, um, now to continue on our little venture through this room, I'm going to say this cabinet is specific to Glencoe documentation. The documents here are all to do with Glencoe. In this, in this cabinet right here. Okay, and we move on to the, all the documents here for Moza Township, which, and then there's Eckford Township, we have Metcalf. We have Delaware, we have Caradoc, we have Strathroy, we have Warsville, Newbury, and so forth. We have, uh, for, uh, the only thing we don't have here is London Township, Lobo Township, in documents. Now, a little history going back on the registry office. There was, it was built in 1871. That's when it started here in, in Glencoe. And it was here until 1991 when the, the registry system decided to move it elsewhere and they moved it to London. Uh, they moved it to London and uh, uh, right at that time I felt there was, uh, you know, some, there maybe could be something done about it. So I actually approached Irene Matheson, the Member of Parliament at the time, and got working with her on it. and. In 1997, the records came back to Glencoe uh, and were moved into the the library on Main Street, uh, Historical Society room, and now they're back to where they came from. As I mentioned, uh, what we do here is preserve the past, and what, uh, we get uh, folks who donate not only documents and books, but also old photographs. Now, um, we, we have an exhibit of, uh, of various things here. Uh, we have rare books, one-of-a-kind type books and documents. Our problem is we don't always have the facilities to properly store them or properly preserve them. When we do get material coming in, donations, they usually come in like this, like a box. And what we do after that, we try to ascension them and, and record where they're going to be stored. Unfortunately, with our resources, uh, storage, and preservation can be a problem. Now what we have in this area here is a collection of artifacts which are local in nature. We try to, uh, part of the donation of, of what folks bring in uh, is actual physical things. What we try to do is provide not only storage but we try to provide a bit of a display here. Uh, our space is limited so we have to be very careful in what we're actually uh, going to keep out front. We do keep things in the back in storage, but again, um, the nature of the storage and, and the uh, facilities which we have available limits what we actually can provide. 
we need uh, county archives because th this archives is wonderful, but when uh, if the young people don't uh, step up and take over, all what we have gathered will be lost. Okay, at the end of the day, what we'd like to do is emphasize the importance of a proper facility where there's climate control and humidity control to ensure proper preservation of these important documents that we so richly um, would like to preserve uh, and that are so important to our past and we'd like to uh, move forward with that and we do endorse the efforts toward a county archive.